Hey, what up, YouTube? It's Tuesday morning. You know, it's LA traffic. Headed into LA. But the uh, Kobe Memorial yesterday, that was beautiful. And from an entertainment perspective, the likes of Alicia Keys and playing a Beethoven piece that the Mamba enjoyed and tried to learn from ear himself, according to Rob Palenka. You got Beyonce. I mean, it don't get no bigger than that when it comes to an entertain to, to entertainment. Michael Jordan spoke. You know, pretty impressive, actually. You know, got a lot of got a sense of humor, and I didn't know personally that their relationship, that they actually had a relationship as close as uh, Jordan uh, depicted. You know, through words at the memorial service at the Staples Center. Shaquille O'Neal, man, all the greats. Don't get no better than that. But uh. The wife, Vanessa, is suing the helicopter company uh, for a wrongful death suit. Because uh, at the end of the day, the pilot is the captain and the, the, the call and the decision to fly is, lies on him. Because he should have, you know, according to the weather, you know, hindsight's 2020. So I believe that's what the, you know, pretty much the wrongful lawsuit is going to state <clears throat> that they should not have uh, flown and even in Burbank, Burbank that same day in that area grounded its uh, helicopters and planes uh, due to inclement weather but a beautiful memorial service yeah, and Kobe was, was, was one, of, one of LA's you know my Kobe story was I think it was 97, his second year when he began to, after the air balls, you know, when he began to flourish as a star. Uh, they had a, uh, a little VIP meet, a little VIP function sponsored by Miller Lite. And, you know, my mom, you know, she's an enthusiast when it comes to sweepstakes and she wins a lot. And, hap and fortunately, she won um, the tickets to the little VIP, get to meet the players, coaches the staff, the cheerleaders, you know, you get to do a little shoot around on the court. And while I was out there, yeah, you know, they had uh, the players, it was Kobe, uh, Shaq, you know, Phil, some players in the group of players here, and it was just four podiums, but Kobe and Shaq had their own lane. So when I was out on the court hooping, you know, I was in my apex. I was in my apex, had a hell of a vertical. So I said, let me throw one down. It was on the far end from where the uh, players were uh, staged for the photos. I threw one down real soft. I said, man, that, that was pretty, yeah, I could, do, yeah, that's right. I just threw one down, it's a fabulous form. So on the other side, we're in line. It's about five minutes in, about to go up to take the pictures. A ball came to me and I looked up and I saw the court on this side. So I did a little crossover, whatever, and went up and yammed him. Ba -ba! And, you know, the breakaway made, boom, had a little, you know, the kids that was playing was like, ooh. So when I went up to take the pictures, Kobe was first. So when I, I went to give him the handshake, boom, boom, turn and take the picture, but he grabbed me. He was dead in my eyes and said, man, I saw you throw that down. And I was like, hey, you can't pass him the opportunity to, you know, to throw one down in a fabulous form, you know? And he was like, that's right. Went on and finished taking the pictures and just watched this guy blossom to be one of the greatest uh, basketball players of all time. And we see why he was so great and how he, he not only emulated Jordan, but took some of those moves to a different level because he learned from Jordan. Who did Jordan learn from? So Jordan pretty much, you know, set the had the blueprint and set the premise on you know, what level you're going to have to play at if you want to be great, which he wanted to be great. Yeah. Yeah, but the city kind of had a, had its second morning because uh, the day of it was, you know, first the first two, three days was kind of surreal. 
you know, but they have to revisit it and, and, and come back and, you know, have to see his wife shed tears and, you know, think about her position. You got, you know, Beyonce sitting there and everybody's, you know, gonna look out and have that support. But one thing she did say, you know, that it would have been hard to leave one of them here. Because if she had a lost her father only, if she didn't go that day, you know, that would have been tough. So it's strange how things, you know, work out. So, you know, much love to the Bryant family, all the people that lost their lives, you know, but that mama mentality lives on. You know, and for me personally, that mama mentality means basically whatever you're passionate about, something that you would do for free, go at it full throttle, be the best that you could, you, the best that you could be and be the best at it, you know, and it's not even about the financial, you know, that's not the motivation, but, you know, when you find your passion and, you know, you connect on a level where your passion is producing, you know, it's going to bring in some, some income, so, but that's not even, it, that's the, 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 the last factor. Because a part of it is, you know, would you do this for free? And I'm sure that man would have played basketball for free. So as people, you know, we got to figure it out, you know, but much love. I'm in traffic. Just wanted to chime in on Kobe's memorial yesterday. So subscribe and uh, stay tuned, man. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna dig in this little rabbit hole, man, and figure this thing out together. With that being said, man, you have a great day. You know, happy Tuesday to you. Today is Tuesday, February 25th from the West Coast, L.A. Peace out. <laughs>